The direct ancestor of every combat shotgun on the planet is the legendary blunderbuss, also known as the Thunderpipe. I've asked early weapons expert Paul Masterson to brief me on this flintlock muscle weapon. My favorite characteristic about the blunderbuss is its versatility. It's not it's always the, the most accurate weapon, but what it lacks in accuracy, it makes up for in just sheer violence. The famous blunderbuss. Can you show me how to load it? Absolutely. So you start by taking it to half cock. You take your primer, prime the pan, lock it down. You're going to take your pre-measured charge, put it down the barrel. Take your shot, put that in. How many shot go down that barrel? For this, this is a 44 caliber ball, so we're using six of these. OK. And then last, you're going to put your wadding in there, take out your ramrod, tamp it down, return the ramrod, cock it all the way back, and you're good to go. This thing isn't going to blow my hands off, is it? You know, you never know with black powder weapons, but probably not. I was confidence building. All right, going hot. You always get that delayed sort of reaction, like the flintlock flies forward, it ignites what's in the pan. It's really unusual compared to modern weapons to have that delay right. between the powder igniting in the pan and the weapon actually sending around, or in this case, it's rounds down range. A little bit of recoil wasn't too bad. I mean, totally manageable, and I can see why this might have evened the odds in certain situations. Absolutely.